Hey, it's Steve Boyle, and this YouTube thing is going so well. 550,000 views on my channel. I got a big head from this stuff. I see these awesome numbers. I see my amazing 7,000 subscribers watching my awesome videos and enjoying them. And you know what? My head gets big. So today, we're compressing. I'm gonna face the music, and I'm gonna read the meanest comments I could find going through my channel. I've also been published to some articles, so I looked for some articles and I read through the comment section, specifically on, you know, queerty, and then, you know, a different, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna humble myself. Logan Wood, uh, on my coming out video, you need to do videos shirtless. No. Please, like and subscribe. <laughs> That's a weird comment. Super God of Darkness. Um, on my coming out video. Coming out, am I supposed to feel pity for someone like you? Someone who knew they were gay since the second grade and also came out as gay later to a friend and you knew you were gay for a while but later still ended up using women for sex? At least other gay dudes didn't know that they were gay until later. Guys that are deep in denial sort of have an excuse but it still isn't justified. That what? We are supposed to feel bad you got free orgasms from great girls that didn't deserve your pathetic appendage inside of them for your own comfort. Oh, having the nerve to smile in your video, you're in that group of gay men, uh, are just sad examples of being human. Shit. <laughs> I, my coming out video, Ihaya Rangui. You have gay lips, dude. You didn't need to say anything. <laughs> Being gay was in your lips. Lols. Nice. I really, yeah, I have gay lips, I, I guess. I don't know. This is fucking weird. From Jamie Spencer. God, there's nothing worse than a couple who pretends nothing annoys them and everything is 100% rainbows and unicorns. We're not answering this question. It's stupid. People want to know because it's a standard couple question. It's fun and silly. But you guys obviously take yourselves way too seriously. Do we take ourselves too seriously, Matt? <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and by golly, gay people are gonna force the entire world to acknowledge them like it or not. Screw your faith in your religion and personal beliefs. It's helpful now to them that a rainbow colored stick on Hitler mustache comes with every rainbow colored flag purchase. Astute observation. Oh my god, I wish I could be you and have the time during my day to record, re record, record. A video, act like an idiot, and plus uploading it, and do all the edition job. What a brilliant guy! Well, thank you. I don't think I'm brilliant, I just try really hard. And, you know, Cynthia Rose says, don't give up on your dreams. Rafael Rodriguez on How I Met Bay. Uh, why can't I get an N-word like this? It always makes me so uncomfortable when people call me that. Next star uh, in my coming out video. If you knew at such a young age that you were gay, I am surprised you were even able to get it up. So to speak, with girls, <laughs> your roommates had nothing to worry about being as unattractive as they are. Sorry, but really. That's, like, wow. That's, why? No, Billy Bud. He is just plain cute, not cute. With capitals, so. How do you contour? I, I think that's enough. You don't have to do this. They said I was plain. To highlight underneath. <laughs> Majority of the world are uncircumcised. I mean, he's not wrong. It's just so aggressive. Fuck you, faggot, faggot. <laughs> fuck you, faggot, faggot. I just fuck you and your family, faggot. And I will, well, well, kill all of your gays. I will, well, kill you all. Zach Fair. You're being kind of unfair. Also, you seem to be a character from Final Fantasy, so I'm not too worried. Uh, sports guy, no, sport guy, just a sport. Uh, don't see the big deal. He is just an average looking kid. All right. Blame. You use girls to cover your tracks? That is the most horrible thing I've ever heard. You mean to tell me that you think being gay is that bad and that you you had sex with girls even though you're gay? How do you even do that? You're a complete disgrace. You get one life and you chose to live it like that? Such a waste. People, there's no need to lie. This kid is a moron. B 
be who you are from day one, and then you can say you lived a life worthwhile. Ow, John John. Right in the feels, bro. I know Queerity really likes Daily and Efron, but I didn't realize you had such a type. Personally, I like guys that look like they aged out of puberty. 15 chest hairs. So, I find this guy very plain looking. Average to the max. But let's not ignore the elephant in the room. When you are young and your skin is a certain color, that takes you over into the land of hotness. Plain! His ass will be wrung out and ridden with AIDS by the time this article is yesterday's news. That's like kind of fucked. <sighs> okay, definitely not hugely attractive, just an average blonde guy. Uh, worse, his poetry isn't that great. I wish people would stop elevating their casual obsessions in a bid to make an average everyday guy be the be-all, end-all of gay beauty. Queerty, don't make this child another Davy Wavy uh, because it's almost like Davy's paying you to promote his swole ass. I don't know Davy Wavy, but swole ass? At Charlie in Charge and at Steve Denver, I agree to an extent that tearing people down is bad. But on the other hand, I don't think it does any good to encourage the narcissism of someone who plasters his selfies all over the internet looking for validation. Uh, and I, and so I understand the impulse to bring someone like that down a notch. I just post my Instagram selfies on Instagram and the article that you were commenting on pulled those images. I didn't post them all around the internet. The internet posted, it's not my fault, man. Oh, that was hard. That was hard. Took, took a lot out of me. I feel, feel humbled, but I need some nice comments. So this, this stuff makes me happy. This stuff makes me not care about your mean comments. Yeah, I think the term for his attractiveness is boy next door. Uh -huh. uh, not plain. And there's more to seduction than the look of someone in a still shot. The voice, the movement, the eyes, the hint of adventurousness in bed. He radiates those other seductive qualities. I'm adventurous in bed. Of Justin Ashley. I just came out to my parents the day after this was posted. I love that. I love hearing stuff like that. Dan Vercelio. Vercelio. That's a cool name. Uh, life is better when Steve is around. Thanks, man. Steven has a little junk in his trunk. All is well with the world. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, chill brother. Uh, welcome, Steven. Missed your video so much. I just wanted to let you know how much you have helped me and many others because of you. I can truly accept myself for being who I am, uh, and that's a gay man. Uh, thank you so much for your advice and doing what you do. You are such an inspiration. Um, continue being the beacon of hope and that you are. I am forever a loyal fan. Thank you very much. King Fancy. Uh, I miss these videos a lot. I don't know if you remember me, but I sent you an email, and I'm coming out to my mom on Wednesday. And you're the main reason why. Thank you. Uh, thank you. All right, so what have I learned? There's some mean comments out there about me that I'm pretty plain looking. I thought I was pretty. I thought I was pretty. Leave a mean comment uh, below. Leave, you know what? I don't want that to happen, actually. <laughs> Maybe leave some nice comments. I'm really sorry that I slept with a girl once. And then I'm just plain looking. <gasps> plain! And I'm cute, but I'm not cute. And that, you know, shit. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be better for you haters. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. That's <laughs> so dumb. Relocatable, skinny, humble, bratty, gay, bitch. Six feet, 160 pounds, age 54, with romantic era syndrome and bare bum spanky complex. <laughs> Anytime, anyplace. Four, cuddly, mature. Me, be Jerry, Doge. I have a behavioral reference who know my background check is a blank sheet of paper for from being an intor autistic since birth. Oh my god, open to good spanky and taken away over threshold till death do us part. You understand more from me tagged profile of pics and babbles 
at www.tagged.com slash shy pansy poochie email at jerryellis234 at gmail.com if um spanky complex people could just post personal ads somewhere more helpful maybe not on my channel